Afternoon, everybody. If nothing else, lawn rolling sure is good at picking up dog poop. Welcome to Elk Creek Acres. All right, everybody. So, let me start out by first saying um the other day i got a, a message from a friend of mine out in wisconsin and he asked if i had the uh tractor plus smart connector and you know i told him it was on my to get list but i didn't have it yet uh so he says well give me your address and he sent me one um Pat, thanks again. It really, honestly, there aren't enough words. Um, I appreciate the gesture wholeheartedly. Um, you take the cowling off. Uh, simple. You know, there's a couple of tabs right there on both sides. And, you know, they connect right here. And, uh... There's a website listed on the paper that comes with it that says, you know, you can go to your dealer and they'll print you off the installation instructions. Honestly, <clears throat> that was 15 minutes of my life I'll never get back. You take the cowling off and right there is the uh, service port for if you took this in with a a check engine service indicator whatever you want to call it if you took this to your dealer they're going to plug into that and they are going to read the ecm read the codes see what the problem is it literally it just plugs in right there there's a clip uh it varies model year they are model year specific i found that out uh through through pat when he was sending this to me and through the installation instructions, which I did go online and look up, uh, they are model year specific. And the only thing that, as far as I could tell, I mean, there's differences in the ECM possibly too, but, um, is where this harness clips, um, on a 19, there was something up here that it clipped to, for instance. So, uh, you plug it in now now I will say um, I remember in tractor time with Tim's video he said he plugged it in turned the key on and popped right there on his Bluetooth on his phone it didn't happen that way for me um, and again this is why I tell our green tractor talk it's a John Deere tractor forum for those of you that don't know uh, there's just a wealth of information on there, and there was a, a thread started regarding this uh, Tractor Plus smart connector. So I did the advanced search, and I found the thread, and I started reading through, and I realized there were several other people that had connectivity, well, what we thought were connectivity issues. Um, come to find out, it had been connected the whole time. It connected right up. But you go into your Tractor Plus app. And then you, you put in your tractor. Um, you can name it. Whatever, whatever you want to do to make it easier for you. You can list all your equipment in there. Um, it does give you service reminders um, and with the with this uh, smart connector it's model specific so it'll tell me at 200 hours it'll pop up say this is what you need to do at 210 it'll say this is what you need to do uh, and it did it had all these listed um, grease grease the chassis you know, check the engine oil, uh, 
there were uh, there were check the hydraulic oil there were a few in there and you know and i did i had just actually last weekend just greased this tractor front to rear so and then you can check done you know you mark it done and it won't remind you until the next one now uh if you go into the app i mean hopefully you guys can see some of this too you go into the app and then i pick that tractor and then you go see it is showing that i had three trouble codes okay there is a a tab here that says smart connector okay right there so you you hit that now hold on it says not connected so just so you're aware the key does have to be on and it connects just that fast so fuel load hour meter live dash and right there that's actually pretty neat i haven't really quite figured out what that ambient temperature is so i haven't quite figured out some of them like the ambient temperature the coolant temperature is obvious rpms engine load now what i did find funny um a bit surprising i suppose like engine load at an idle it'll say uh three or four percent okay and that's all the load that you're actually putting on the engine now i just got done pulling my thousand pound lawn roller around i'd love to have a heavier one but i don't and i was honestly surprised uh, the most i saw was 18 percent. i can't wait to play around with this thing um when i'm out tilling disking brush hogging things that are truly that i feel is working the tractor i'm really really curious to see what kind of a load i'm actually putting on that but it gives you real time um fuel usage pretty neat um you know i i think 0.4 gallons to the hour at an idle i think is what mine was reading uh it's 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 pretty neat you know kind of decent information i'm gonna see i may have to get like an otter box defender a, a real good you know semi you know sealed up sort of foam protector <clears throat> and then i might mount it over there on that left side handrail so i can actually monitor this while i'm using it um if i had a cab tractor i ain't gonna lie i get a suction mount or make up some kind of a bracket and i would mount a, just a cheap tablet up there and monitor the tractor's performance as i go and the hardest part for me with this whole process aside from the connectivity which which i didn't realize it it connected up just like that but i, I couldn't find it in my phone's bluetooth settings so i didn't think it connected but it did um the, the the hardest part other than that was getting the cowling back on um everything around that black upper part of the dash has to line right up and fit in there right so it's really it's really kind of neat i can't wait i'll i'll show you guys more with this as i'm using it with the tiller um you know we're disking and tilling here pretty shortly uh i did just move a bunch of the chicken uh compost pile to, to one of my wife's gardens um no load what's 12 15 percent load on the tractor but just really sitting. neat again pat i appreciate that really very much and i will continue as the season goes on to give you guys more readings uh as far as engine load fuel rate things like that go um so thanks for watching and uh, 
hopefully we're cleaning up the barnyard tomorrow so there'll be another video coming right out quick thanks for watching